Many people are continually complaining about some of the more extreme people on the left, and with good reason. The problem those particular people on the extreme sides of the left have really boils down to not being willing to look at cause and effect, how their words and actions affect other people. This has led many of the anti-SJWs and anti-feminists to also not care about cause and effect of the things that they say and sometimes do. What's sad is the large majority of anti-SJWs and anti-feminists are quite literally pushing a right-wing agenda, or at the very least, pushing right-wing talking points, whether they're actually right-wing or consider themselves right-wing or not. And this is because they don't really care about the outcome of their words. They just care about saying it, and that somehow, magically, people are supposed to see that they're actually left-wing, and people are somehow still supposed to latch on to left-wing values as a result of seeing videos made by people who just happen to actually be left-wing, even though they're promoting right-wing talking points. It's almost as if we're believing in the propaganda that the right-wing is wrongfully viewed as being neophobic, and that they're a politically oppressed group who needs the progressive stack. Imagine a female comedian whose biggest comedy routines are to make fun of the way that women act. Some people might try to say that she has internalized misogyny, but she may not have that at all. And she might even try to claim that she's saying those things to show that women need to change. When confronted with the fact that her audience is primarily pig-headed, chauvinistic, and sometimes blatantly misogynistic men, she says, well, I have no control over that, and is actually serious when she says it. She might also say, well, I don't really care if that's my audience. I'm not misogynistic, and that's all that matters. It would make many people, like myself, facepalm. When someone just wants to complain about the left and never the right, and then says that they have no control over whether a lot of people move to the right as a result of what they say, that is someone with a complete lack of a sense of cause and effect, especially in relation to human psychology. It is especially disappointing when this is said by people who know all the ins and outs of what makes people latch onto an idea, what commands an audience, what makes people listen, and what keeps people paying attention because they have the experience and fields in which it is necessary to know those things. I have to wonder about what other kinds of things people like this are oblivious to, or maybe it's just a complete lack of empathy with people like this, or they just don't think about cause and effect. I don't know. When people like Wu Wee claim that Trump doesn't have an echo chamber and that anything anyone says that even remotely agrees with something you might see in mainstream media, or agrees with left-wing media, is a part of an echo chamber, and you can't criticize Trump or you're part of an echo chamber, yeah, we have a problem. I have to laugh when people try to tell me that I'm saying negative things about Trump because I just want views, or I say something negative about an anti-SJW just for views. That's, that's funny. That's, that's kind of ironic, too. I'm not the one who doesn't care about the effects of the message I put out. I care what my message is. You see, I actually care how people interpret my message. I actually care what kind of mindsets come out of thinking about the concepts I talk about. Some people might consider it a problem that I actually care, that I actually give a shit. I think that's really strange that people would think that's a problem. If we don't care what comes out of the things that we say and do, how can we claim to be decent people? How can we claim to be good people? How can we claim to care for our fellow humans? And it is the people who don't give a shit, the ones who don't care about the consequences of what they say and do, who are the ones who will tend to get very popular on this platform. It's all about not giving a shit. And then some of those same people will virtue signal and claim to have such great values and believe in such lofty goals and aspirations in what they do on this platform. They'll essentially say, I'm an egalitarian, over and over again while spewing some of the most vile things on the internet. I've tried to not give a shit. It doesn't bode well for me. And anymore I refuse to turn off or destroy my empathy. In my view, when we've lost our empathy, we've lost our humanity. We've lost. And I don't know how we're going to recover, not when the people who are supposedly against what the extremes of the left are doing are using the same tactics and the same lack of empathy and same obliviousness to cause and effect. When everyone stops caring and they just want to put their own tribe up on a pedestal, what do we have left?